morning, my name is Chris Fox, and today we're talking about writing memorable characters. It's a real quick tip and it's very easy to implement, and I hope you'll see the advantages right off the bat. What you want to do is add a detail to every single character that is unique to them. It's something that other people don't do. So for example, maybe you know somebody who wears sunglasses inside. More and more I see people doing that. It's, it's not common, but it's, it's noteworthy. It, you know, people will comment on that if you wear sunglasses and it raises questions even if you don't say anything. Is that person, do they have sensitive eyes? Do they have a black eye? Were they in a fight? Are they wearing some sort of high-tech new sunglasses that have some sort of heads-up display that give them enhanced vision, like some sort of augmented reality? You don't really know. And your job as the author is not necessarily to answer that question right away. It's just to present the possibilities because then your reader starts to wonder. They wonder why this character is that way. And the more they wonder about a character and the more scraps you give them to allow them to build a framework, the more attached they get. It's how you kind of dribble out some breadcrumbs initially. You have to give them an interesting hook to grow their, their interest in that character. And it's not terribly difficult to do. It should not be shoehorned in. And it's something you have to think about as the author. You obviously need to know the answer as to why your character is wearing sunglasses indoors and, and why that makes sense. And you also have to think about settings where that's not always going to be unusual. So for example, if I walk around carrying a katana, a, a sword at all times, that's really unusual in 2023 and I'm probably gonna get arrested. <laughs> but if I'm doing that in, let's say medieval England, then it's much less worthy of note. It's just a setting detail. And in, in the case of my sunglasses, if we were writing a cyberpunk setting, people have sunglasses all the time. Like it's just, it's a feature in that setting. It would not be worthy of note. You wouldn't care. You'd be like, oh, he's just, you know, he's got a cyberpunk get up on, you know, he's, he's wearing sunglasses. Of course he would. He's got mirrored shades. That goes with the territory. So you have to present something that is specific to that character in the setting that will, will occasion comment. And you don't want to go overboard and give somebody, you know, just go down to character sheets and, and check off boxes and give everybody a specific tick or identifying feature, you just want to think about their personality, how they developed, and, and come up with something that can subtly convey that. It doesn't have to be huge. And the more you do that, the more people are going to wonder about these characters, and you have something to build off of. So later on, I've already opened a loop. At the end, I can take off the sunglasses and show why I had them on in the first place and answer that in a satisfying way, but ideally one that also then asks another question. So let's just say that I did have a black eye. If I took off my sunglasses and you saw that and that was the end, that's kind of a cliffhanger. Oh crap, you got punched in the face. What happened there? Now we got to wait and find out. So that's how you want to approach making memorable characters. There are a million and one ways for you to do this. It's not uh, terribly challenging as long as whatever detail you're presenting is authentic. So in the comments, I'm sure we can talk about all the ways that you have done that in your own writing. And, and you'll find that there are many, many approaches to doing this and they vary from genre to genre. But the takeaway for you should be if you're making these characters and you can't think of something like this, there is no identifying detail. You know, your characters don't have something like they're wearing sunglasses indoors. Can you add it and have it feel authentic? Think about it. And if so, tell us in the comments maybe how you plan to do that with a character. All right, I'm going to get back to the writing and I'll see you guys next week.